Let's get them okay, quiet and... Okay, ladies. We can be real quiet. Shelly, introduce yourself. Tell me who you are. I'm Shelly Yates, and I am the patient coordinator for Cole Facial Clinic. What does a patient coordinator do? I'm basically like a patient concierge. So uh, patients call me to get in with Dr. Cole if they have questions about procedures or... Um, uh, hold on, hold on. We got the mic. Just do it. Oh. Michelle, Michelle. 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 Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> Introduce yourself, tell me who you are and what you do here. All right. My name is Shelly Yates. I am the patient coordinator for Dr. Cole and Cole Facial Clinic. Um, I am basically a patient concierge, so whenever a patient comes in to see Dr. Cole after a consultation, I follow up with them and make sure if they have any questions, I get those questions to the doctor or staff, and I make sure that they're answered. I help them with scheduling for surgeries, and basically I just take care of whatever they need so they can uh, get in and realize their goals. Tell me a little bit about why why you work in this field? Well, I really enjoy making people feel good about themselves. I love the relationships. I love meeting our patients. I love their stories. Uh, and it's just really wonderful to get to know someone and help them with their issues and make them feel better about themselves. It can be life-changing. And for me, that's really one of the best parts of this job. Um, what, what's great about working with Dr. Cole specifically? Well, he's just a great person and he really cares about his staff and his patients. He takes time to really listen to what their needs are or what bothers them or what their issues might be. Uh, and he is always learning new things and really dedicated to his profession and He's just a pleasure to be around, and he just really cares about his patients, and so uh, it's just wonderful to see that relationship with them and to watch him. You know, he's just so, he's just such a great surgeon, and he's just so, he's just so polished and trained. It's just, it's, it's wonderful to be around. Um, I need to work in you saying his name somehow, because you... Dr. Cole? Yeah, because... Okay. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Dr. Cole is always learning, because mm -hmm. during that whole time, you never mentioned his name. Okay. So if I can get it once or twice, make sure, sure I can, yeah. What I enjoy about working with Dr. Cole is really the relationship that he forms with his patients. He really is a part of their lives, and he cares about them individually. And the Coles, as a family, are just wonderful people. They're involved in the community, and uh, it's just a pleasure to work for them. They really do care about what they do. And as far as the staff goes, uh, Dr. Cole, we spend time with each other in the morning. Uh, he's interested in the staff, and it, we're all kind of a family here. And so it just makes it a wonderful environment. Uh, and it's just a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here. Um. Tell me about some specific instances, without obviously breaking HIPAA violations, uh, where you've seen the work done in this clinic impact someone's life. I once spoke to a woman whose husband was suffering from dementia, and she had been his caregiver for 12 years. And he was in a home and she really dedicated herself 
to caring for him, and she kind of put her needs in her life on the back burner. Her daughters were, said to her, "Mama, if you know, if you keep going like this, your daddy's going to outlive you. You're, you need to live your life again and feel better about yourself." And she just looked exhausted, naturally so. And so she did have a facelift, and it really changed her life. And it was wonderful to see that she felt like her old self again. She had energy to to go shopping, to wear makeup, and, and she really got her life back. And it was nice that she was able to rediscover herself after caring for her husband for so long. And it just really gave her an opportunity to enjoy the second chapter of her life and with confidence and, and just joy. Excellent. Um... What do you do in your spare time? I have four children, and three of them are in college. And um, my husband is an attorney here. And so we do spend a lot of time biking. And just as a family, we just have a lot of fun together. So I spend a lot of time with my family. Excellent. Um, what is something you wish people knew about plastic surgery? that it's not just for vanity, it is for confidence. And you know, if you have something that bothers you or is a distraction to your life, you know, go ahead and talk to a surgeon and see how, you know, see what your options are. Um, Dr. Cole is certainly not going to talk someone into something that they don't need, but if something is bothering you, then, uh, it, it's, it's no big deal to go and get a consultation. I would say the most important thing uh, when you are looking for a surgeon is to make sure that they are board certified. It is your face after all, uh, and board certification is quite a process, and you want your surgeon to uh, be well-educated and current on new techniques, and Dr. Cole uh, is relentless in his pursuit of staying on top of his field and learning and, and just perfecting everything that he does. I'm young. I shouldn't consider coming into a clinic. That's for old people. Why is that statement wrong? Well, gravity catches up with all of us. And so, yes, it's good when you're young to uh, take care of yourself. Stay out of the sun is probably the most important thing. Get in with an esthetician and really work on good skin care and, and taking care of your body inside and out. So when gravity does catch up and you start to lose volume in your face, you can do little things and, and, it, and you'll always look like yourself and feel renewed and refreshed. Neil, yes. I really liked when she was saying, uh, he's not, Dr. Cole's not gonna talk you into anything. Mm -hmm. But you got distracted and looked over. Okay. So just repeat that. <clears throat> and just speak for just a second on that because that's okay. a good catch line. I think what people need to realize is that going into a surgeon's office for a consultation is is not that big of a deal. Um, you know, Dr. Cole is certainly not going to talk somebody into something that they don't need. Uh, and he's going to give you an honest evaluation. If you don't need anything, he's going to tell you that. Um, and, and you might need to just have some uh, treatments with an esthetician and just keep up, um, you know, work on your growth hormones and work on supplements and just a good skincare routine. So I would say that if anyone is considering uh, facial surgery or any kind of um, non-surgical solution, that just come in for a consultation with the doctor and Dr. Cole will let you know. I think one of the things that is worth addressing is that everyone has damage. Mm -hmm. And so everyone, in the same way that you get a checkup for your, your I, I don't want to compare this to a colonoscopy, but like... It's you, different you, end. <laughs> <laughs> but you go in and you have your blood work done. Right. And you have it, tests and things that are done to evaluate where you are 
what damage exists and repair it without surgery. Mm -hmm. I think there's there's something to be. I'm seeing this kind of this Facebook mm -hmm. option where you can talk about you know this isn't just about surgery. This is about understanding the damage that we all have and working to repair it so that surgery is not needed. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. You know, surgery isn't for everyone, and certainly there's nothing wrong with aging. We're all going to do it, and it can be a beautiful thing. Um, one of the things to age gracefully would be to have regular facials and really take care of your skin through products. And, um, you know, the best thing you can do for your skin is to keep it moisturized, keep it out of the sun, and use products that help your skin turn over, help the cells regenerate. So um, that's really the best thing you can do. Not everybody needs surgery. Um, certainly they don't. Um, surgery can be used for all kinds of things to, you know, for otoplasty if your ears stick out too far, for rhinoplasty if your nose is broken or if you have some cartilage uh, defects. It's, it certainly doesn't have to be because your face is sagging and you feel old, but it can be. Um, but if, if you'd like to just age gracefully, uh, estheticians and skin care, and I think that's one of the great things about Cole Facial Clinic is that we do offer all of those services. Uh, and so you have options when you come here, and we do try to make it a comfortable space so people can uh, feel like they're part of our family and learn all those options and take all the scary things out of out of surgery or, or non-surgical solutions and make it fun. Excellent. Um, anything else that you feel like you should? I don't think so. Cynthia, can you think of anything else? I think you said it all perfectly. <clears throat> Or a walk-in clinic. Let's talk about that. Yeah. We offer a great service that we're really proud about. We have uh, Mandy uh, Baker, and she is a certified injector for Dr. Cole. And we have a walk-in injectable clinic that's every day, uh, Monday through Thursday from 8 until 1 p.m. And people can walk in. We say that there are no waitings and no lines, so you can come in and get injectable services. Uh, sometimes facial plastic surgeons get booked up pretty far. So this is a way if you have uh, let your Botox go or, or you need a little filler because you're going out of town in a couple weeks, you can just pop right in and uh, Mandy will take care of you. So we're, we're excited about offering that to our patients and it's been well received. And so, uh, you know, it, it's just a great opportunity for people to take care of stuff in a jiffy and I have to wait for an appointment. Awesome. That was great. Um, who else do we want to plug in? Um, you know, his, the estheticians are great. I think they're both in with people right now, but that might be good for over at that wall. And they are doing a treatment right now. So. Gotcha. Um, I assume that's not a treatment.